Okay, so let's look at what the any type is. We have a var a. If you don't declare type information, a is supposed to be of type any. This is a feature which you can use in order to migrate JavaScript code into TypeScript because JavaScript has been written without any type restrictions for all these years, right? Before TypeScript was introduced. You can put anything to a variable. You can put one data type and then down the line, you change it to something else. JavaScript doesn't complain. And there have been a lot of functional code written to use that and not caring about the types. But with TypeScript, you have to be really strict now. You have to specify a single type and you gotta use it as that type always. Now, what if you want the flexibility? What if you wanna be able to create a variable that can potentially take in multiple data types? That's where you can use the any type. So TypeScript introduces this new data type called any. The way to declare it is by using colon any. Or you can just skip this and by default, any variable is of type any. So this tells TypeScript to get its hands off, right? Don't do type checking for A. I can assign anything to A and TypeScript is not gonna complain. So for example, A equals 10 here, and then A equals true here, and then A equals some sample string. This all works fine because we've basically told TypeScript to ignore any type checking for the variable A. Earlier, I mentioned that this is a handy feature to use when you're migrating code from JavaScript to TypeScript. So let's say you have a variable called A that is taking on multiple data values in your code and uh, you need to give it a type. You really cannot give a single type. So in that case, having it as any would mean that all those different value assignments of different data types would still work fine and TypeScript is not gonna complain. There is another feature of TypeScript typing that can be handy when you have a certain limited number of types that you wanna to assign to a variable. So let's say you have a variable A, which can take in a value of a number or it can take in a Boolean, right? It can be one or the other. Let's say it's always has a number value or a Boolean value, it cannot be anything else. One way to solve the problem is by putting a data type as any. In that case, A can take a value of number, yes. A can take a value which is Boolean, yes. But the problem is, this is too loosely typed. You can have A take on a value which is anything. A can be a string, A can be anything else. So that's not ideal when you have just two data types that you want A to take. In that case, you can use something called this union type. Now. The way to create a union type is by creating the types number and using the pipe symbol for R and then using the other type, Boolean. So what I'm doing over here is I'm saying A takes on a number type or a Boolean type. So this is supposed to be a union type. I'm basically telling TypeScript to be okay if A takes on either a number or a Boolean, but if it's anything else, I want TypeScript to throw me an error. So let's say I assign a string to it. Now it's gonna complain because it's not a Boolean or a number, but these two assignments work fine because there's a number and there's a Boolean. So this is another way you can kind of loosen the type checking of TypeScript. You have two options. One is use the type any for a variable so that anything goes. You can assign anything to that variable or if you have a certain set of types that you want that variable to take as values, you can use what's called a union type, which is basically specifying all those different types separated by the pipe symbol or the R symbol. You can have it be string, in which case it's gonna accept a Boolean, a number, or a string. So you can have as many of these as you want. Uh, but again, ideally you would wanna minimize it so that you still get some kind of strictness when it comes to assigning the values. So use this if possible, use union types if possible. And if you have too many types or unpredictable types, then use any to just tell TypeScript to not do type checking for that variable.